really not great when doing horrible jobs like drilling a hole in your van don't go to plan. I'm scared. <laughs> uh, I genuinely feel like sick. And uh, it's raining, as you can tell by my jacket. And this is wet Sikaflex. It does not look pretty. I do not care. If it doesn't leak, I'm happy. Cause this is like the 5,000th time that I've put Sikaflex on it now. Hi guys, and welcome back. We're caught some Meeks, and for the last year, we've been living in our self-built orange sprinter van named Didi. Despite 2020 being that year that no one will forget, thanks COVID, we managed to explore some amazing places in Europe. Spain, Portugal, Gibraltar, France, Italy, Slovenia, Austria, Czech Republic, Southern Germany, back into Italy and France before returning to the UK. Now we're on a mission to rip out, rebuild and reduce weight in our tiny home on wheels as we prepare for the adventures ahead. Oh, and if you hadn't noticed, we're a tad obsessed with orange. Don't forget to share the love and subscribe. It's free and it's the easiest way to support our channel. Hi everyone. Welcome back to a new episode of this van renovation. This week it's Odd Job Week. <laughs> we have done like most of the big stuff now. Oh, that's nice and soft. Okay. Uh, we're, yeah, we've done most of the big stuff. Yeah. And most of the building. And that means that we're on to loads of itty bitty jobs that take a lot of time. Yeah. So we've got loads of painting to do. We've got to finish plumbing. We've got to finish some wiring. But some of that wiring can't be done till the painting's done and things like Control that. So panel. Yeah. we're going to be going backwards and forwards in this video between multiple different things, basically. <laughs> Well, the first thing is that we've got loads of drawers to paint. So we have all of these. And all of these. And there's a dog. And the flip up backs for our seats are there. So these all need painted in blue. They've been primed with two coats. They have. Meeks is armed with his roller. It's very soft. And we're ready to go. Yep, yeah, what are we painting? What colour? <laughs> We're going green blue, blue. Green, blue green. Blue green. Not blue blue. No. It's a bit dark. There we go. Botanical noir it's called. Perfect finish, endless protection. And it's beautiful colour. Not like this. Not the blue blue. This is blue blue, multi surface. Antibes, which was from B and Q and it does not look like the colour that it shows online. False advertising. False advertising. So now we're going with this. Cue painting montage. So we're now trying to fit our gas. And we've basically got to the point of getting the bottles in, getting the bottles joined together, and we now need to put the external fill point in. And we've got to decide where that's gonna go. And it's always nerve wracking when you've got to drill a drill hole in the van, but I'll show you what we've decided to go with. This is the garage space. We've decided to have our gas in this back corner so we've got two six kilogram bottles and yeah we we were going to build our own box and then decided actually it's safer and easier to just buy one ready made uh, so we also have installed an automatic switch over so when one bottle empties it automatically switches over to the next one and we're just going to keep an eye on it and make sure that when it we've noticed it switches over then we make a note to ourselves to go and fill up and we think we're going to put this this is the external fill point we think we're going to put this somewhere here and then this pipe joins up from the inside that's the idea anyway so it's going to be like in here somewhere roughly
coming through? It's, it's not quite through yet. Well, that was not a great success. Don't think the whole saw teeth are strong enough. They are maybe a bit blunt over time. And it's just been bouncing a bit off of the metal on the outside, meaning that the hole has gotten, well, it's not a hole yet, but it's taken the paint off bigger than what we wanted it to be. And we're not sure how we're gonna fix it. So this is the inside line, is the line that we wanted it to be and where it's bounced, it's created like, I don't know, three or four mil of extra. It's not quite through yet, so this is still metal. I don't wanna to touch it properly because it might still be hot, but you can see obviously this center point has gone through, but this hasn't yet. So we're hoping if we can get a smaller hole saw that's for metal, that we'll then be able to sicker flex it in and it'll the hole will not be too big for it to fall through. But we all have to see. Really not great when doing horrible jobs like drilling a hole in your van don't go to plan. You're not ready to go again? I'm scared. <laughs> uh, I genuinely feel like sick. Why do we... This one was all in favour of putting an internal fill point yeah, in the side of the... Was. In, the, in the side of the box, but... We've heard from friends that um, some places in Europe don't like that. Like if you turn up at a garage, yeah, if you turn up at a garage and you don't have an external fill point, you have to open your back doors, for example, to fill it up. Open your back doors. They won't let you. They'll just turn you away. So we were like, okay, the right thing to do is put it in the outside. But never get easier. Doesn't We've... feel like the right thing now. <laughs> I have offered to take over, but I think he's like totally set on finishing the job that he started now. So that's a bit smaller. It's quite a bit smaller. So this is the size we're now working with. It's quite a bit smaller, but the um, lip is the lip on the thing should cover that anyway. So okay, go for it. Just go for it. Right, where's the metal file? metal file and hammer right quickly before it rains i'm ready to do my heavy lifting of this sicker flex now please fit there we go oh. <laughs> god um, that was stressful <laughs> done i'm done today is over that's enough i'm not doing any more that's the bag you brought. Yeah. That's not the type of bag you wanted. It's like a bin bag. Well, I thought this would be better. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Well, we've been out for a walk with uh, little Sal Bal, and uh, it's raining, as you can tell by my jacket. And this is wet Sikaflex, which will run. So, Courtney's brought this lovely plastic bag <laughs> when I meant a bin bag and I'm going to tape it over it. The more annoying thing is that we've been waiting like three weeks to install this fill point because the weather forecast hasn't been dry for like consecutive amount of days. We're like, okay, the sick effect's definitely going to cure. And when we looked this morning, we were like, oh, four days of dry. Perfect, we'll do it today. Positively British, is obviously. This, is this a good enough job? <laughs> This is perfect. Can okay. I have some dinner now? <laughs> yeah, good night everyone. See you in the morning. Moving on to yet another task. I'm up on the roof. It's beautiful sunshine, which is a nice change. But I've got to try and fix this leak that we have had for about, it's probably been there for like a year, maybe. <laughs> uh, through the roof fan, through our max fan, the seal, is letting in a tiny bit of water when we have like a really heavy storm and it needs fixed. We've just not had enough dry days in a row to be able to put new sealant on and allow it to dry. But the rest of this week's looking good. So I'm gonna see if I can fix it. Previously, I have taken off the sealant around this side and around the back 
and I've added these two little like plastic corner pieces purely because there's ribs in the top of the van uh, in the middle here and then there's another one over there and when it rains the water pools here and we thought that maybe that's where the water was seeping in because it was pooling so we put these in and sealed them down just to create a bit of a water barrier to the sealant but my new challenge is to now do this side and this side which has still got old horrible sealant on and we think this is where the water's getting in where it's really thin over here um like i say it's only a tiny drip but better to get it sorted than it cause a bigger issue in the long term and whilst quartz is up there sorting the sealant out i've been given the task to sort this out and this and this and this and this so that's going to be fun getting it all connected up to that As you can see, I've ran all these wires so they're a bit neater now um, and just taped them into place because I didn't want to connect it all up um, at the moment even though everything's off. Um, and now I'm going to P-clip all this down so it's nice and tight up against the back. That was hard. Oh, I need to do this wire as well. Whoa. We're getting there. We are getting there. How are you getting on up there, Court? Okay, I'm pretty sure that's sealed now. If it's not, there's no fixing it. So I'll just have to leave forever. I've put a bottle, a tube and a half Sikaflex on two sides of this fan now. And then another bottle on the other side. So I'll show you what it looks like. All the way around, especially around this bit, which is where we think the leak was and then joined it back to the dry Sikaflex that's on that side. It does not look pretty. I do not care. If it doesn't leak, I'm happy because this is like the 5,000th time that I've put Sikaflex on it now. I deserve a coffee. Thank you. <laughs> now this is well deserved. My little face. A mug on me mug. <laughs> Uh, makes his friend that he went to school with, lives around the corner and um, he's Mugs by Martin on Instagram, is that right? And he made these mugs for us, dropped them off yesterday. Makes us got one with his face on it. Yeah. How cool are they? And then they've got both of our faces on the other side. So these are obviously our new favourite mugs. I think I'm just going to enjoy the sunshine for a little while. So here I am, back in the garage of doom. <laughs> like trying to work in this tiny space is not fun but after abandoning the gas the other day I've now come back with a clear mind and a calm attitude <laughs> and I've managed to drill a bigger hole in the side of the gas bottle oh. locker um, which we will seal up obviously I realise that gas could escape through there but once we've got this all secured in we're going to seal that all up and it'll go into this uh, switch over valve. So I just need to connect those two together. <sighs> A bit stressful, but I think it's going to work now. Yeah. The copper pipe runs at the back of the inside of the pantry unit behind the drawers. So hopefully the drawers won't hit it. And hopefully we'll have enough excess at the other end to attach up to the hob. But for now, I think I'm going to leave. Because I smell some cake baking in the kitchen, and I think, cake. think Mother Sue's been making coffee cakes. So I think I think we should, should take a break. It would okay. be rude not yeah. to test it. Well, what a week off work we've had. Come on, I'll show you what we've done. Well, what busy little bees we've been. This week has gone so bloody quick. I can't even remember what we've done now. Oh, okay, so first of all, we did all the plumbing. So that is like 80% installed. So is the heating system. 
So is the gas about 80% away there as well. We just need to fix it up to the hob. Then Meeks has done this snazzy control panel, which is looking beautiful. What else have we done? Oh, built all the drawers, mounted all the drawers, and the ones in the pantry. Ah, cool, that's storage. Beautiful. Painting, we've gone through like three pots of paint. What else have we done, Meeks? Oh, the mattress. So we measured up for the mattress and all the seats and tested all of that out. We found a seamstress. So Meeks' sister's friend is a seamstress. So we're going to do that. And hopefully, it's not rained yet, so we don't know for sure, but hopefully I fixed the roof fan. I think that's it. Oh, loads of wiring. We did loads of wiring as well. So yeah, it's been busy. And now I have to go back to work. So we'll rattle through the last however many jobs over the next few weeks and then we'll be there. We're, we're, we're really close actually. That's that then, isn't it? Yeah, that's the week over. Whew. I'll work tomorrow. I know, I need to put my feet up. I'm so tired. It's Sunday. <gasps> Sunday roast. And and Mother Sue, she's made a coffee cake. Oh yeah, we didn't, we didn't get any coffee cake earlier because it was still yeah. cooling down. So we'll have to wait. Two slices tonight. <laughs> I don't think she'll be in agreement with that. <laughs> but if you like this video, sorry it's been a bit all over the place, jumping from one thing to another. It's kind of the reality though, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And we will see you on the next one as we keep rattling through our massive list of jobs. Yeah, so please subscribe. Uh, it really helps us and it's completely free for you to do. Um, and if you hit the little bell as well, we'll be really happy. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Bye.